how are you feeling? Um, uh, you know, you're in the midst of your 20th anniversary celebrations. It's a big deal for Investors Trust to get to get to 20. Tell me about that. What's what's it been like this year? And you know, what what have you been doing for the 20th anniversary? Well, listen, um, it was a, it was a big big milestone for us. No, uh, being around for 20 years, going through. Uh, good times, bad time, crisis, back in 08, 09, and then COVID, and you went through so much during these 20 years. And uh, when you see that, um, you know, the, the growth of the company continues to compound uh, year after year, when you see that you are gaining more market share, when you see that the business is vibrant and, and people really are looking for you and they want to do business with you and in multiple places, in multiple regions, you look at 20 years and you say, wow, it was a great journey, but let's go. Let's go for another 20 years and see what, what is ahead for us. Now you've got the, um, in this industry, I think two things stand out. One is relationships with personalities, but look, more importantly, two is products as well. You know, products and dare I say it, commission as well, you know, in the, in the past, maybe more so, but the products that are incredibly important and the relationships are important. What is it you, the Investor Trust brings to the table on both of those sides, on the products and the relationship side? Well, uh, relationships, you know, um, especially now here in Miami, we're doing the Latin American event uh, tomorrow and it's a, it's a very big deal for the region. We've been building this relationship for more than 20 years. Uh, we know uh, all distributors for some of them uh, over, over three or four decades. And, those relationships are super strong and they were uh, really the, the fundamental part of our growth and our um, development as a company. Because well, it's not only what they bring in terms of distribution, the sales that they do and, and uh, customer service to the investors, not only that, it's all the feedback that they were giving us over all these years that made us better because we listen and we grab everything that is actionable and, and, we, and we put it in, in production. So relationships, key. Now, in other regions, we've been doing the same, of course, uh, not for not such a long time. No, I mean, in Asia, we've been already uh, almost 20 years, so we have uh, very long standing relationships. In the Middle East, we've been around for seven, eight years, uh, and we can see already that we are having more and more um, uh, relationships that are um, really anchor to what we do and the people that we have over there. We don't have much turnover, you know, people. Um, our, our employees, our managers, they, they stick around and they've been with us for a long time and that helps a lot. And going to products, you know that we have a couple of, of flagships. Uh, our S&P 500 product is, is being um, one of the, the main products that allow us to get into these relationships in some cases, get into these markets is, is, is innovative or innovative. Um, it's, um, it's really a, a great um, I would say first step in your relationship with Investors Trust. And of course, you know, the, the likes of evolution of our portfolio bond access um, allow us to um, increase, to um, uh, further develop those relationships by providing more solutions to those to those brokers. When it comes to relationships, is it, there's something about this region, you know, it you're, you're from here, right? My friends in this industry, the people that I'm friends with, the most loyal people are in the Latam region. You meet people, and they're the people I talk to all the time. And it, it seems, um, it seems once you, you know, the loyalty is important. But that goes both ways, doesn't it? Absolutely. Tell me, tell me about that. Is it a Latam thing, or is it's, it? It's it's the passion. It's the Latin American passion. It's, it goes both ways. I mean, uh, um, for the for most of in the most Latin American countries, you. It is not difficult. I mean, I've been living here. I'm from, as you know, originally from Argentina, but I've been living here in the States for 20 years, and I can see the differences. Um, in, in Latin America, it's very, very difficult to, to separate uh, the personal stuff with the business stuff. Um, people like to do business with people that they get along and that they can have dinner later, that they can see each other during the weekend. Uh, it's something that here in the States or in other places like in Europe, it's just not like that. I mean, you have your business relationship, you may have a friend, but, but it's not something that is fundamental for the relationship. Here it is, and it goes both ways. If everything goes great, you're going to get loyalty, 
and a great relationship for years to come. If things go awkward or to the wrong direction, well, that relationship is going gonna, is gonna to be very hard to get it back. It's interesting um, when, you know, when, you, when you break down regions, but there seems to be a philosophy within Investors Trust and you know, you're, a big, you're a big part of that. You're the head of this organization. Um, you work very closely with, with the owners. Is this something that you, you know, is part of the personal thing that Ari brings to the table? I, I will go back to the owners. I think um, this is what they, they always wanted it, not only for our distribution, but also for our employees, our managers at all levels, that they feel that this is home, that they can come to the office and, and, and grow and get to their personal you know, achievements and milestones in life. Uh, with us and uh, and it's something that I guess I, I got the baton from them to carry over uh, and, and continue building that type of um, I would say group that you can see internally how it works but also what, what I'm really proud of is the way that people from the outside look at us and say you guys at Investors Trust they all feel to be very happy they all feel to be part of a, of a bigger thing, of a bigger group, and, and such vibe is, is great. When I think IFAs, uh, agencies around the world are looking for a provider, they say, well, these people, they stay there. They want to continue working there. Well, something something is good over there. Now, you've spread this model across the world. I was already trying. From humble beginnings here in, in Miami. Just tell me a little bit about the next 20 years, or the next five years, or the next year, you know what? Any any sort of ambitions that are unfulfilled as yet? Where, where next? Um, I would say the first thing that comes to mind is is organic growth. You no, know, um, I think there's there's too much to be done. So much to be done in, in so many different markets. Uh, I'm extremely happy where we are. Uh, our market share has been growing steadily for years now, um, but I think you know. If we continue working the way that we've been working, if we continue with our emphasis in, in people and, and systems and technology and creating uh, new products and, and flexible products, I think that market share is going to continue to grow. And what the big change, I, I joined this company over 15 years ago. The big change that I see from 15 years ago to now is that before there were over 10 global companies working in the same market and now we're down to five and it's very niche uh, the, the companies that are still in our market they're very committed we like for those companies to stay we like to have a strong competition because it makes us better and um, at that change I think it would um, change us all in the, uh, in, the, in the right way taken us to a more a more professional and more diverse and a, a more flexible and I would say uh, with products and services that fits the needs of our clients better um, all together all these companies together some of us we have certain things that you know we do better than others but at the end of the day the commitment of all these companies are there and I can see this going into the future I want to be part of that that's that's really where it is good stuff well, we're very glad to have you when the others seem to be merging together or, you know, eating each other up. Um, let's just briefly talk about tomorrow's event. It's the International Investment Latin America Forum, the first one. I remember sitting here in, not in this office, but in this building with you. Um, or maybe when we had lunch and you said, why don't you do an event in Miami? And we were like, mate, I'd love to, but you know, it's a long way. And you said, yeah, oh, we should look at it. It's now COVID came in and yes. killed the first one. <laughs> a lot of things, right? But we've, um, you know, we're very excited about tomorrow's event. Why is it important for the industry to have that? And with us as the publication, you know, giving it the third party endorsement. So everybody comes, we have sponsors, but you know, everybody comes. It's not just you bringing your of course. across. Why is it important to back things like that? Well, that's exactly what you said. I mean, I think that is, is like a, a third party, uh, independent party that is bringing different actors from the industry together. And we're all in the same umbrella. Now we're gonna see each other in the same place. This, 
if you think about it, when you look at uh, the fund companies that are coming tomorrow, the providers that are coming tomorrow, the sponsors, and uh, the different um, distribution that is coming from all over the, the continent, plus people already here in Miami, we never been all together under the same roof. This is the first, the first time that it's happening. And, uh, and I think, you know, as I said uh, before, when we know who the actors are, we know that we've been going after the same type of business, fighting for, for market share. Well, but it's, it's also good that, you know, we can get together and we can talk about the challenges, opportunities of the industry and, uh, and just, you know, share a space during the day where we can mingle and talk. And by the way, you, you brought up COVID. Um, we need this, right? I mean, we were uh, not getting together for a long time, and, and now that things are, are, are open, especially in this, this part of the, of the world, it's super nice to, to get all together under, under the same roof, as I said.